peace and divine light. So I was having a conversation with a fellow yesterday and he was saying that, you know, he does like spiritual work and he likes to run away demons. And in my mind, I'm like, how are you going to run away yourself? Because you know, if we understand that we are both angels and we're both demons and we're both balancing our, you know, balancing out both sides. So as we see in a lot of movies, you know, we always thinking that, you know, the light, the person who's all lovey dovey is that person we want to follow. That's like the angel. But then you see the angel still has his dark side, too. And, you know, most of the times we see that the person who they've been calling the bad person was the, the right person, because a lot of times if a person looks different, if they look this kind of way, oh, they don't want to listen to them. Oh, they're the devil worshiper. Oh, you're doing herbs or this, that, and the third. But what is the devil? Tell me that. The devil has always been ignored, has been in a place of having to do things differently. And, you know, people be mean, calling this and that. And now they find themselves angry, blowing up things. That's the only thing the devil means. Or if something bad happened, oh, the devil do this, da, 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 da. Everybody think life is supposed to be perfect. But if bad things didn't happen, how would you grow? How would you understand you? How would you understand your emotions? We can't run away these demons. We got to love ourselves. We got to love our demons. We got to love everything about us. Everything that we thought was scary is not scary. It's love. That's all that is really going on. So, you know, when somebody said they're running away the demons and da 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 No, you're not running them away. You got to tell them, come here. I understand you've been in this world who haven't been able to understand you. There's no need to be angry or upset. You are powerful. And when you use that demon to help you do the right things, the love, not hurt people, because all of us need love. We can't be angry, nor can we be sad. We can only be grateful and raise in gratitude because we know the power of love and the vibrations. So the goal is to go back to places and give yourself love and thanks that these even happen. Even the people that you think done you bad, they didn't do you bad. They was here to help you grow. Bad helps you grow. Grow. If you just stand in a place of just comfort and think everything just supposed to come to you without you going through things, that just shows that you're living in a in the mind of just illusions because we understand we need everything and the goal is to balance out everything not allowing things to control you you control everything because we have the power to we don't allow people to run over us control us abuse us because we see that we're you know the light the angel still has that balance side too like yes i'm light and loving but i understand too that i you know i can put out so much but i can't let you drain me use me control me or believe in me, I'm not going to do the same to you because that's not what I want. I want love too. I'm just thankful that I was experienced everything so that I could see this now and understand I love my demons. I don't want nobody to run my demons away. I want my demons to protect me just like in the movie Lovecraft Country when as we see when slavery was deeply our ancestors you know we've been monsters we've been dinosaurs we've been everything that they've called scary but in reality they only protected us. If you go watch the four realms it's the four realms on on uh, Netflix is pretty much showing us what's going on, how we can walk through different realms in our mind. We time travel with our mind. Everything is mental. But in our minds, we're in this place where we're beating ourselves up. We're upset because everything is happening. We don't see that life. You know, we worry about money. If we don't have money, then you don't think that, you know, you're, you're living the best life. Or if you don't have this, you're not blessed. And that's the mindset that we get in the illusions because we know life is more this where we're at is just a beautiful place of bringing divine peace back in order to this you know universe that's what we do we bring love and order to everything so daily continue to love yourself continue to be light on yourself when we meditate we're not trying to like just what is it you just want to meditate. The goal of meditating is learning how to quiet your mind. 
because our minds have been going for so long and that's where you see the power when you're able to just you know boom look at the four birds sitting right there four the number four is a powerful number Ooh. yes connection